Yeah, I'm Michael Baldock. I'm the uh, Greens candidate for VAS in the coming election. Isn't that the seat with Troy Bustle in it? Yes, it is. Yes, it's going to be a very interesting seat. I think uh, most people are under the impression that it's a safe seat, but you only have to think back eight years ago, it was a seat that was only won by 200 votes. Um, this election is going to be very tightly uh, contested. Uh, there are a number of independents, and I think the Greens themselves have improved their standing in the electorate considerably. And I'm expecting this will go to, uh, to preferences and be very, very close. Can you describe VAS as an electorate, as the kind of environmental landscape it has? Yeah, VAS is a, an interesting place. Um, the city, or the city of Bustleton, has only just been claimed a city. Um, over, I suppose, over the period, it's been a very uh, attractive tourist destination. And I, and I suppose one of the issues down there at the moment is that we're, we're seeing a, a town that's growing. It's starting to take on some of those city problems uh, now that it is a city, but it's also starting to lose some of its character, and that's one of the reasons why I'm running. I think it's very important that even though we do have some growth, that we don't also destroy the thing that makes it such an attractive place to visit and also to live in. What do you think the environmental issues are for the Bustleton Vass area? Look, urban growth, I think um, it, it's an electorate which has a number of town sites which are growing uh, significantly, um, and urban growth is, uh, is, is going into our farmland areas. It's starting to uh, compete with our agricultural use. It's also starting to impinge on a lot of our areas which we see as um, environmentally very attractive. It's, uh, you know, you look at the uh, Lewin Naturalist uh, coastline, um, and as we grow into those areas, we actually destroy some of that uh, pristine attraction that it has for people. Um, the great idea of actually going to some of these small bays and uh, you know, being by yourself and, and uh, being away from the, the hustle and bustle, all of a sudden we're seeing a lot of development in there. We're starting to lose, lose those spaces where you can escape to, I suppose. And I think a lot of people who come down to our area like to escape from uh, the life life they're in and, uh, and, and be in another world for a moment and we've got to make sure we maintain, maintain those areas down there for, so that people can do that. And that's for people all over the state love to come down to our area. Well you live in the area, is there any particular spot that you uh, relish visiting or working in or travelling around? Oh look, I think the, the, whole, the whole coastline through there, Geograph Bay has its unique features which are fantastic. I've got a, I suppose a special affinity with the Meal Up Regional Park. Um, I find that region, um, Mill Up Regional Park is uh, a special place. Um, it's an area that is actually under pressure from development at the moment because uh, there are you know, plans and talk of uh, putting a boat marina in there which would require a breakwater. Uh, and I think that's just contra you know, contradictory to what people go to Mill Up for. They love to go to Mill Up because of its naturalness. Uh, and I think that's the thin end of the wedge if they actually get a uh, marina in there. Um, of further development and uh, it's not what people go to Meal Up for, it's um, generations now have gone to Meal Up just to, as I say, just to enjoy those really quiet beaches um, and there's a fantastic coastal walk through there and uh, the developments which are, I suppose, being pushed by some people uh, are going to directly affect that. Any last word about the environment and issues during the coming election? Oh look, there's, with the environment, I suppose climate change is a significant issue. Um, we've seen our rainfall, I, I've kept tab on the figures at Cape Naturalist, and we've seen our average rainfall fall from 840 millimetres a year down to 640. Uh, that's a significant change, and when you consider that our Jarrah forests survive in a, in a rain belt area of 600 millimetres or more, it means a lot of the, uh, I suppose, our, our natural forest areas which exist um, in, the, in our rainfall zones are, are starting to get squeezed out and the amount and the, uh, the area that they can actually survive in is uh, reducing. So uh, look, that's, that's a serious consideration and as well as urban expansion I think is a direct threat to a lot of our local, um, local parks and, and, and just our, we've got, it's a biodiversity hotspot in our area so it's very intense with different species and animals and, um, and even there's small areas which might only be 5-10 hectares which have unique um, for, flora and fauna in them, um, you get it, if they get developed, you lose that forever. So it's very important that we maintain all aspects of our biodiversity in the South West and in Vass particular. Thank you, Michael Baldock. Okay. Thank you, Adrian.